Hi everybody, Patrick with Thrustflight. I'm one of the maintenance team members here. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about the Cessna 172 engine, one of the most common engines used for flight training aircraft. This particular version is a Lycoming IO360L2A. The I meaning injected, the O meaning opposed, meaning these cylinders here oppose each other. It's a boxer type engine, as people would refer to it in the automotive industry. The 360 being 360 cubic inches of displacement. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about what some of the most common components are when you're actually looking at the engine. It's pretty unfortunate, but most pilots don't get the opportunity to really explore what the engine looks like because this is obviously all covered up when you're flying the airplane. So we're going to talk about some of the major components here and what they are and what they do. So to begin with just the ultra basics here, we have the um, aircraft cylinders, this being a four cylinder aircraft. There's one, two, three, four cylinders which oppose each other um, as we referred to uh, earlier. These are the valve covers. So these cover up the valves for the cylinders themselves. The exhaust down here below. This is the oil pan right here where all the excess oil is kept. The fuel servo, which is connected to the induction system of the aircraft. Uh, you'll see this large orange hose right here. This is called a, a scat tube, which is hooked to a shroud around the muffler. This is what gives you the heat for your cockpit there. As we move up and back, this right here is the oil cooler, kind of like a radiator for the oil on this airplane, keeps that cool. And as we move to the back and to the top of the engine, up here we have our vacuum pump for our standby attitude indicator in this aircraft. This is one of the magnetos, which provides the ignition for the engine. You'll notice the uh, oil filter back here on the back of the engine. That's what cleans the oil, catches any particulates. And we'll move around to the front of the engine. Right here we have our alternator and our alternator belt. This is called the starter gear ring. So what happens if we move over to here, this is the starter for the engine. This gear will pop out, make contact with the starter gear ring and turn over the aircraft. And as we move to the other side of the engine here, we have our 24 volt battery here on the firewall and another magneto back here. The structure right here is the engine mount. The engine's connected to the airframe in four separate spots, these different mounts, mounting points back here. And those are the major components of the Cessna 172 IO360 L2A engine. So that wraps up today's video about engine components. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Make sure to like and subscribe and no, Make what is sure it? Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.